Hi everyone, Mike Sherry back at Paul Sherry RVs. Today I'm showing the all new 2020 Forest River Grey Wolf. This is the 27RR, which is the largest RR in the Grey Wolf series. So I'm gonna flip this camera around and we'll see what it's all about, what this hype is of half ton towable travel trailer toy haulers and really how Grey Wolf has revolutionized it. So this is it. The largest Grey Wolf half ton towable travel trailer toy hauler is the 27RR. Now the Grey Wolf is a part of the Cherokee brand of products. If you're unfamiliar with that, there's a lot of names out in the RV industry. You know, you don't got like Ford, Chevrolet, Honda, Toyota, you know, but what you have here is a Forest River product, which is one of the largest producers of RVs in America. And they're the biggest brand out there in America is the Cherokee and the Grey Wolf is a part of the Cherokee brand of products. It's their, uh, it's their midline travel trailer and really what sets it apart and why it sells better than anything else right now in the market is the immense amount of value that you get in a Grey Wolf travel trailer. And I'm going to point out hopefully most of them to you today. Starts out with this aerodynamic front end. Notice how it's rounded. A lot of companies use more square or boxy front ends. And it's put together with three pieces of metal. The top two pieces, and then the bottom piece here is gonna be a guard for the front, a rock guard. So if you're traveling down the road and your pole vehicle would happen to pop something up, it's gonna protect it with this bottom material down here. In the front, comes standard with a power tongue jack with a manual override. Also comes standard with two propane bottles and a battery. Now we provide a brand new battery and fill the propane bottles up as a service that we do here at the dealership. Some dealerships now charge for that and they call it different names. We at Paul Sherry's just call it part of the sale. We do not charge for that. The exterior on this travel trailer is full body paint, meaning all this metal is actually painted. A lot of the competition is using decals, which are big stickers, right? And big stickers in the sun after a couple years like to fall off. They crack, they shrivel, and they definitely become discolored. So what uh, the Cherokee brand of products has done is said, look, we're getting rid of the, a lot of the stickers and decals, and we're just gonna paint the exterior. We know it costs more, but there's huge value in it in the long run for the customers. Stabilizing jacks on all four corners come standard. Outside shower also comes standard. This is a nice feature a lot of customers like because it's not necessarily to take a shower outside with phones and all the cameras on these phones nowadays. I wouldn't recommend it, but it's a great thing to wash the kids off. Maybe you're at the beach or you got a little muddy. You can do it because there's hot and cold water here. And what I like about it is Cherokees generally position this really close to the dump station. So it's a nice spot to wash your hands after you dump your camper, right? While I'm down here, there is two axles on the 27RR. Uh, both of the axles come with these nice uh, metal wheels. And there's a lot to talk about just right here. Every wheel comes with a tire pressure monitor system. If you see green like we see there, that means it's full. So you don't have to manually check each tire before your trip. Also, each tire is a radial tire. So you don't hear a lot about tires because tires are just usually pretty good anymore. But there is a cheap trailer tire that they put on a lot of trailers that's still being built today. And they call it a bias ply travel trailer tire. And basically, it's just a cheap tire. A radial tire costs more and it's gonna last longer. There's more rubber that hits the road on a radial tire compared to a bias ply tire. And radial tires run cooler, therefore they're gonna last longer. This again is a toy hauler travel trailer so I have the ramp and more the patio position it comes standard with the patio I didn't set it up I've done many videos where I've set that up but basically it's a gate system that makes this a bigger enclosure in the back and this of course is the ramp it's being held up by these aircraft cables right here now that ramp when you undo those two aircraft cables it's just very simple to do just two tractor pins that ramp's going to come down what I love about the gray wolves is they're more of a mid profile travel trailer so the ramp angle, approach, maybe that's the right word, is not so steep that you pop a wheelie to get in there. It's a nice, gentle ramp. A little bit of sneak peek out of the cargo area. Comes with a spotlight back here. That's the top light. A nice bright light 
uh, to just light up this whole area and also is prepped for a backup monitor. Two entry doors on this gray wolf. The rear entry goes right into the garage, which is special. And then outside here we have a, a lot of cool stuff underneath the awning, right? So power awning on this. I've got it out today. And it's an adjustable awning. I mean, you can tilt one side or the other, or maybe both if the sun's low in the sky. But also out here, you, you have some things to do. You can listen to music and the outside speakers. There's two of them. You can watch television here. It comes with a mount right here from the factory. I love that. A lot of customers add mounts after the fact and I see where they leak just because they're not sealed up properly. When you have it from the factory, it's nice. And what the factory does, they provide this piece here, which is the other piece, the, the male piece that fits right on there. So this is going to screw into the back of your TV and you can just slide it right on there. And then we have, of course, your TV is going to need some hookups. So it's got, uh, let me see here. It's going to be a little bit stuck. There we go. So we have power right here. And then this one down here, which I can't seem to open right now, is going to be your uh, coaxial cable for your antenna up onto the roof. So you're going to be able to pick up those free TV stations. Now, this is a standard option on all 27RRs for the latter 2020s, which the latter 2020s, again, have the thick blue stripe, right? So the thinner blue stripe is the early 2020. The latter 2020s are all going to have this deluxe mini camp kitchen standard feature. That's one thing Cherokee does is standardize a lot of things. And this comes with an ice maker, which is really profound. So you can fill that up with, you know, nice clean water and make some ice out of it for your beverages. You can always use ice at the campground. It has hot and cold water right here. It has this refrigerator uh, for your beverages and even has a little spot there for freezer. And then down here, that close, you have your two burner gas range and then a little wash basin. This whole contraption here is all made out of metal. There's no wood in this. So uh, the benefit of that is it's going to get wet being outside here, right? So being metal, it's going to be able to withstand the elements. This has the uh, more right entry step, which is the step everyone loves. And then it even has some storage underneath here. So it comes with a spare tire. That's an option we've ordered in on this uh, trailer. But this storage under here is going to be the size of a queen bed because this is underneath your bed up front. All right, let's check out the inside. There's a lot to talk about in here. Again, this weighs just over 6,000 pounds. So this can be towed by my most half-ton pickup trucks. And there's a lot to it. A queen bed up front here. This is the very frontmost of the trailer. You have your wardrobe off to the side. And then here at the foot of the bread, foot of the bed, you have a little bit of a, a nightstand with your, your hookups there. There's power, and then there's USB power right here. And then coming back here, uh, you have your kitchen here, your big oversized U dinette that does come down for extra sleeping if needed. You can easily fit five people, maybe six around that. In the kitchen, it has glass inserts on the cabinet work. It has the nice countertop. This is a seamless countertop, so you don't get the edges that pop off, right? If you've had cheaper countertops, maybe in your house or other trailers. It's a nice countertop, which allows you to do the sunk down stainless steel sink, the high rise faucet. Really a lot to go on there. That sink there is what they call black stainless. That's an expensive material. And then above the sink here, we have the sink cover. So when you're not using that, just more countertop space. Same with the stove top here. It has the sink or the stove cover, which is glass here. So when you're not cooking, right, you can have, a, you know, maybe the bread stored up there or something like that. Backsplash here. So it's easy to clean up uh, from cooking on the stove top and stuff splattering. Uh, three burners on the stove as well. All gas. Propane gas. Propane gas uh, stove itself. Oven down here I should say with a glass door so you can see what's inside the oven without having to open it and let it heat out now it does have a microwave up top here for the hot pocket and pizza rolls and then here is the gray stone this is your uh, vent fan for the stove all right this is something else standard feature in all later 2020s and now will be 2021s 10 cubic foot refrigerator so in the past it was an 8 cubic foot uh, and in the same spot, they fit a 10 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator by Furion. Super nice fridge. Spot up here for your television, same type of mount I showed you outside, and it comes with a, a couple of those. And then up here, you have your HDMI input, uh, your antenna cable, and then your power. So all the wires are already there. And then over here, it comes with a radio. This is going to play music on those speakers I showed you outside. And also, there's a couple speakers in the ceiling in here. And it's Bluetooth, AM, FM, 
aux port, thumb drive port. It's really got a lot there. All right, through this door, we're going towards the back of the trailer now, is your bathroom, right? And the bathroom's really nice, has a, really a lot of space in here. Big sink, countertop, power outlet, a lot of floor plan here so you can get dressed in the morning or undress in the evening. Has your stool, stand up shower, skylight up here. Uh, I'm six foot tall to give you an idea of the height in here. My head's not touching. There's probably an extra four or five inches above my head. All right, now through this door, which a lot of people like, so you have two doors to separate off uh, the sleeping space from the garage space kind of acts a little bit like a vapor barrier we're now into the garage now the garage has these two couches I've got this one folded up against the wall and I've got the extra cushions over here that's why it looks funny but that'll fold up against the wall as well and this will make uh, a total of 11 foot in length of cargo space and just under eight foot wide in cargo space there's a total of eight tie downs they're the really nice d-link tie downs uh, so you can secure, secure your toys when you're traveling down the road. You have spots for storage up here with the mesh netting to hold it in. Great spot for helmets and things of that sort. And then this whole couch design will actually, the table will actually come down. It's not attached, it's just a freestanding table. The table will fold down and fit and make a giant bed, probably bigger than a queen size bed all the way across here. So you can really sleep a lot of people in this trailer. All right, that completes this walkthrough of this uh, Forest River Gray Wolf 27RR. Uh, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please comment below. If you didn't, comment below as well. I'd like to see that. But thanks for watching. I'll post links below of our current pricing and inventory of this model, along with other Gray Wolf RR models. There's uh, they start as low or as small as an 18 foot, they have a 19 foot, they have a 22 foot, they have a 25 foot, they have two 26 footers, and they have this 27 foot, and then you can jump up to a Cherokee and get it in a fifth wheel or a big full size Cherokee trailer. So I'll post all those on the link below. Also, uh, financing is available with approved credit. Uh, I'll post that link down there. Trade-ins are welcome. I'll post that link down there, and I'm just going to shut up. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone.